Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to be discussing linear equations in one variable. Let's start by doing an example where we solve some equations. In part A, we have 5x minus 8 equals 6 minus 3x. Let's go ahead and solve this solution. So to solve a linear equation, basically you want to get all of the x's together on one side by themselves. So we have to get rid of this minus 8, and we have to take this negative 3x and put it on the left-hand side. I'll do it in steps. I'll start by adding the 8 to the right-hand side. We do plus 8 plus 8. These cancel, so we get 5x equals 6 plus 8 is 14. And then we still have this minus 3x. Good stuff. Now all we need to do is get rid of this minus 3x. So I'll add that to both sides, so plus 3x plus 3x, they go away. So now you can add these, 5x plus 3x is going to give you 8x, and that's equal to 14. And finally, because the x is being multiplied by eight, to get rid of it, we divide by eight. We divide both sides by eight. We end up with x equals 14 over eight. But you can simplify that because two goes into 14 seven times, and two goes into eight four times. So you get seven over four. So that would be the answer to part A. Part B, we have five over 12 minus one over six times x equals three over four times x plus two. Go ahead and work through this one solution. This one looks much harder because we have fractions. So it's a good idea whenever you have a problem like this to get rid of the fractions. To think about what number you can multiply that will eliminate all the fractions. To get rid of the four, we could multiply by four, but that won't get rid of the other fractions. But if we multiply by 12, that will clear all the fractions. That's because six goes into 12 and so does four. So I'm gonna write down the whole equation again and I'm gonna put a 12 on each side like this. So 12 parentheses, five over 12, minus one over six times x, parentheses equals 12, and parentheses three over four x plus two. It really, really helps to write it down because it's really easy to mess up when you have this many fractions. So just figure out what number you can use to get rid of all the fractions, and then write it on both sides and put parentheses. And now you distribute, and I'm going to show the step, but then I'm going to show you how to not show the step. So if you wanted to show the step, it'd be 12 times 5 twelfths, so you get 12 times 5 over 12, minus, and then it'll be 12 times 1 over 6 times x. You basically put the 12 in front of each of the terms. It's called distributing. And then you do the same thing on the right-hand side. So you would get 12 times 3 over 4 x, plus, and then 12 times 2. Actually, in this example, it's probably a good idea not to skip steps because it might be a little tricky, but I'll still show you how to do it in a minute. These cancel, so you get 5 minus 6 goes into 12 two times, so you get 2x. This is equal to, let's see, 4 goes into 12 three times, and 3 times 3 is 9, so that's 9x. Right, four goes into 12 three times, and three times three is nine, plus 24. Now let me show you how I would do it if I was doing this. So I would basically go from here, I would still write the 12, because I think it's a great idea. It's too hard to do it in your head. And then watch this, 12 times five over 12, well the 12's cancel, so you get five. 12 times negative one over six x, well six goes into 12 twice, so you just get minus two x. 12 times 3 fourths, ah, so now I go to the side. For this, for this, I need some extra help. So you go to the side and you write it like this, outside of the problem, so you don't clutter your work. And you say, oh, four goes into 12 three times. Oh, three times three is nine. Okay, that gives me nine X. You see how you do it on the outside of the problem without cluttering all of this. And then 12 times two is 24. All right, now we just have to solve this equation, which is kind of like part A. 
So let's see, I'll go ahead and just subtract the 9x. And we get 5 minus 11x, because minus 2 minus 9 is minus 11, and that's equal to 24. And we can subtract the 5 from both sides. That gives us minus 11x equals 19. And then finally, we divide by minus 11. So we end up with x equals negative 19 over 11. So x is equal to negative 19 over 11. Wow, that was pretty tough. Way, way harder than the first example we did. It just shows how much more work fractions can create, you know? Um, maybe we should do another one. Yeah, let's do another one with fractions just so you get more practice. Part C, we have 5 over 4x minus 3 over 2x equals negative 1 over 2. Let's go ahead and solve this solution. So as before, we have to get rid of the fractions. We can try multiplying by 2, but that won't work for the x. If we multiply by 2x, that'll get rid of the 2x and the 2, but that won't get rid of the 4x. But if we multiply by 4x, that will get rid of everything. Let's go ahead and write our equation down again and then put a 4x on both sides like this. 4x, parentheses, 5 over 4x minus 3 over 2x, and that's equal to 4x. And then this is a negative 1 half, so it's really important to put parentheses around it so there's no confusion. So you don't think like, because if you don't put parentheses, it'll look like this. <laughs> so that can cause a lot of problems. That's, that's super bad. So definitely put parentheses. And I'm not going to skip any steps here. I'm just going to show the work. So 4x times 5 over 4x is 4x times 5 over 4x minus, and then 4x times 3 over 2x is 4x times 3 over 2x equals, and then here we can go ahead and simplify. Um, 2 goes into 4 twice. So we j we're just left with negative 2x. Now we can clean up some stuff. These four x's are ready to be canceled. So we have five minus these x's cancel. And here we go, two goes into four twice, and two times three is six. Wow, what a, what a, what a cleanup, right? That really cleaned up. And that's equal to negative two x. Five minus six is negative one. Okay, and this is equal to negative 2x. To finish, we just divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, and so we get x equals 1 half as the answer. That would be the solution in this case. Let's go over this part again because I feel like it's easy to mess up. I'm going to do it over here. We had 4x times 5 over 4x and then minus 4x times 3 over 2x. Okay, So the part with the 4x's is easy. We just get 5. The tricky part is here with, with this here with the x's. So notice these x's go away. I'm going to use a different color. The x's go away. And then the 2 goes into the 4 twice. You're left with a 2 times 3, which is 6. That's, that's what happened there. So it's just a little bit tricky, right? So hopefully you have learned some mathematics in this video. This has been fun with all these fractions. <laughs> and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you learned some math, make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Until next time, good luck.